South Africans have been used to this. Dinner by candlelight, pulling up to traffic lights that go dark, all due to frequent electricity cuts that have disrupted lives impacting economic growth and prompting criticism from mining companies to retailers. Just last year, the power utility company ESCOM could only keep the lights on for the equivalent of 82 days. But with an election on the horizon, South Africans have been enjoying a rare streak of uninterrupted electricity supply. Opposition parties have used the power crisis as fodder in the run-up to the poll, and now voters have become suspicious as to what lies behind the sudden recovery. Nearly two-thirds of South Africans said they'd consider not voting for the ruling ANC because of power cuts. Perhaps it's no surprise then that the government is trumpeting this winning streak. But the improvements have come at an environmental cost. The state has quadrupled the amount it spends on diesel to run emergency power generators. Still, though, the government insists the improvements are due to an increase in green power, including solar, through a public-private partnership. What they haven't said, though, is for how long the lights will stay on after the election.